morning everybody. Just wanted to show off our new Couric, which is based on the Navog style of the, the uh, County Kerry, the Dingle Peninsula. Working over several years with Hadi de Hora of uh, Balaferter as my mentor, and with assistance from various friends such as Dan, who's holding the camera, we've completed this boat. We've done a few launch, we've done a few sea trials with it. It's broadly in the style of the Kerry Peninsula, as I said, but with a couple of local adaptations. Um, because of, amongst other things, I've, this is maybe the fifth of these boats that I've built. Among other things, I've been researching these to see to research what persisted because it was actually a good idea, best practice, what persisted because of simple poverty, they couldn't afford to do it anyway. But I've also incorporated some of my own designs. And one of that, as we see, is the bow. This bow was a little more full than you would see in a carry Creek because after a lifetime of working with uh, repairing and being on West Coast wooden fishing boats built over the last hundred years, I'm firmly convinced that local water conditions result in a local design. So this bow was a little more full, and instead of the traditional construction from before of the center keel stringer going right up to the bow, I've incorporated a stem piece, partially because this particular white cedar branch, the, the curve was absolutely perfect and I couldn't bear to cut it, but also because if we come around here, it's resulted in a hollow bow. If you look further back, you can probably get the best angle. You can see we have quite a concave bow here. Looking forward, rather than the more full bow, the bulbous concave, or sorry, convex surface of a regular carry Kirk. Now this, this hollow forefoot means that when we meet a wave, the wave's force is diverted by that curve, so we get dynamic lift and not just mere buoyancy. We're, we're using the wave's energy to bring the boat up, and I, in my opinion, it makes for a more seaworthy design. We see the similar uh, shape at the back. But this is a traditional carry design that I haven't played with at all. But you can see we have a concave surface here, which same thing has a powerful lifting effect. As we discovered last week when we were out and we encountered a, somebody's bow wave, there was about three and a half feet tall, and we met it stern on, we were just slightly underway, and the boat just rose with it like a, like a duck. It was, it was quite elegant. It was quite a, quite a relief, actually, because this was a big wave. So we're off for a morning row. Um, amongst other things, as I'd said, we're, I'm checking, I'm researching to see what was best practice, what consisted, for, or what survived for other reasons. And I'm discovering surprising results that in many, in many, many ways, this essentially Neolithic design still shows cutting edge, state-of-the-art performance. Well, that'll be the subject of another video. Thank you.